Dre Bailey, how are you? I'm well. How are you ladies doing? Nice Good. to see you. Now you Good. go by Mr. Amen. Right. Right. Okay, where did this nickname come about? Um, Mr. Amen was actually given to me because I say amen a lot. Actually. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I say amen a lot. Okay. Um, I was raised in the church, but uh, I did have to live in the world, so, you know, I'm, <laughs> I may turn the other cheek, but I ain't going to let you hit the other one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You might have to lay some hands on you. Amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> amen. I just end it with an amen. Right. What right. do you like to talk about in your uh, act? Um, I like to talk about, uh, you know, things that I've been through. Uh, I've been married twice. Uh, been a father since 19, so okay. I've been through a lot of stuff, and so, you know, it's my opportunity to kind of uh, have some therapy and let you guys laugh at it. All relatable to our, probably most everybody in the audience. Absolutely. I, I remember, I think I heard uh, Camby earlier saying, is it for everybody? It's for everybody. Okay, yeah. Even little kids can come I on I figured if you called oh, yourself yeah. Mr. Amen, it'd be okay. Right, right. Now, there are some times where Mr. Amen can put the kids out. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but for the most part, yes, Mr. Amen is, uh, is what I go by. Okay. You talk about any of today's topics, like, you know, what's in the news or anything? I or don't you? really get into uh, politics and things like that. Um, I, again, I've been through so much that, you know, I, I got to get rid of, yeah, I gotta get rid of this stuff first, and then I can start opening I it see. up and uh, start talking see. about other stuff. Now, how long have you been doing this? Um, I'm actually celebrating 12 years. Wow. Um, so I kind of look at myself as a senior right now. and. You know, Senior. Some, yeah. You, once you figure out what, what it is you're going to do, you know, it's like you're going to school again. So mm -hmm. celebrate 12 years. But a lot of people have no clue to. about what it takes to be a stand-up comedian uh, because now you're headlining this show. Yes. And it's probably like our job where people stop you and they're like, oh, I want to do what you do. I'm like, okay, well, here is the 20 things you need to do before Absolutely. this happens. So do you right. get that a lot from people who uh, they think they're funny and then they think they could just be a stand-up comedian? All, all the time. I was actually uh, just talking about this uh, last night. You know, you get uh, young Comics, they want to come. On. How do I? Uh, how do I get on TV? Like, there's 52 weeks in a year, bro. Just get up. <laughs> just, keep, just, just keep getting on stage, man. You got a long way to go. So, All right. um, you know, that's the advice is just get up as many times as possible. Yeah, you had a couple shows last night. You have uh, yeah. two today and one tomorrow. If you want to catch him at Laughs Unlimited in Old Sacramento, uh, you can. Huh? Two shows tonight, starting at uh, eight. Eight and ten thirty. Now, are you one of those that picks the people in the front? You pick on them a little bit. You know, absolutely not. You you definitely want to come to my show because you can sit as close as you want, and okay. all, all you're gonna get is oh, some anointing good. out of my mouth. You might get a little <laughs> bit anointing, but you ain't gonna, uh -huh. <laughs> ain't gonna be no talking about yourself. Okay. Okay. Sounds love good. it. Thank you. All right, so Mr. Much Amen, for Andre Bailey. Thanks Thank for joining you guys us. Thanks for having me. Okay. From Custom